Gravidlox. I'll see it for them. Gravidlix. I'll see it for them. Stop. I'll, I'll see it for them. Gravidlix. I'll see it for them. Say it. Gravid locks. As a young boy, he used to look through a meat catalog and get excited. <laughs> no Christmas for this boy. You guys remember Fleet Farm toy catalogs during Christmas? My favorite part was the very last two pages where it had all the sausages and cured meats and delectable delicatessen type meateries. I liked the meats. Hey everybody, welcome to Wild at Home. I'm Richie. And today is going to be the, the best, the most easiest recipe. It's Gravid Locks. Gravid Locks is historically from our great neighbors up north in Scandinavia. So Gravid Locks translates roughly to grave and salmon. This cat loves fish, especially when it's fermented <laughs> underground with dirt on top of it. So first thing we're going to do is get our spices ready. You're gonna use about eight grams of lemon. Again, not the juice, use the zest. Make sure you don't get too much pith. Um, that's gonna be kind of bitter. That's gonna go in your pestle and mortar. So six or seven cloves, too much clove, you're really gonna overpower it. It's a really potent spice. Coriander, black pepper, dill, all that goes in there. Hold off on your sugar and salt until you've done a, a light grind on this. If you grind it too aggressively and make it too fine, then when you go to wash the the spice off of your salmon before slicing it, it's gonna be a pain. Now we're gonna add our salt and sugar, equal parts sugar and salt. There's a lot of different discussions about what ratio of salt to fish you should go for. I'm here to tell you that it, at some point in the curing process, it really stops mattering. Your salt and your sugar, a one-to-one -one ratio, should be combined to 25% of your total weight of fish that you're curing. What's it smell like? Anything else? Sugar and ice cream. <laughs> That's the key to Gravid Locks. A little bit of ice cream. So you can leave the skin on, like I did with the sable fish, or you can take the skin off, like I did with the salmon. But you're gonna wanna pin bone uh, your salmon. Other thing you're gonna need is some sort of glass or ceramic container. Um, don't use metal, it will react to the salt. Then, take your parchment paper, cut a nice little strip. What do my notes say? I'm doing everything perfectly as it says. Grevid, Grevlox. Grevlox. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down a base of this spice. It seems like a lot, but honestly, it's perfect. Now if you had a whole bunch of dill, you'd put the dill on top, but we don't have dill, so we're gonna improvise. So I've done this recipe enough to know that 24 hours is about where I like it. I could go up to 36, but after that, it starts getting a little salty, a little too sweet for me. So I really recommend just doing what you like. Gravid locks, by definition, is buried underground. So we're gonna put a little bit of weight on top of our salmon. My preferred weight method is a Pyrex bowl, an agate from Lake Superior, and a pestle. Um, or is this the mortar? Is the mortar the bowl or is the pestle the bowl? The mortar is the bowl. So you're going to put this in the fridge, 12 hours, check it before you go to bed, drain it, check it again in the morning, take a little slice off if it's been about 24 hours, test it, see if you like it. If you don't, put it back in and let it keep going. I don't have a good nexus of words to describe how this tastes. It's incredible. It's kind of like a standalone flavor texture combination. It's really beautiful. It's really perfect. Mm. Wanna try some? Come on. Ready? That bread looks really nice too. No. Oh. Yeah? Not interested? Yeah. Not everybody likes gravid locks. Gravid locks. <laughs> gravid locks. 
Thank you to our fishermen for catching this incredible sable fish and salmon. We couldn't do it without them. We couldn't do it without you guys out there supporting them. Um, for the next couple weeks, I don't know what's coming down the pike next, but as always, we'll figure it out together. For those of you that aren't members with us yet, Wild Home is the discount code, 25 bucks off your first month share. We'll deliver it to your door and experience what Sika Salmon Shares is all about. It's 100% guaranteed, there's nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Until next week, stay wild.